Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Airport CEO. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back at Emerald City Airport where things, as always, are going pretty darn well. We're currently approaching five million dollars. We have so many people going through the airport every day and we are actually still relatively far away from a time when the airport is going to be fairly empty. So we still have some waiting to do, but I have seen a few people say that I can just turn off commercial flights for different taxiways, but I don't know if that'll actually do what I want it to do. Like if I go in and turn off the east medium stands here and then look at my flight planner, do we have... I guess we don't have anything scheduled for those stands anymore? I guess that cleared them out. So if I turn those back on, does that fill them up again? Is my question. Because we don't have the automatic the, the planner on. So East... Yeah, so EMG stands do still have flights scheduled. So I think we're just going to let time go by. Which isn't really a huge deal. Because we do have some work that we need to do anyway. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to bulldoze parts of these two shops here, which are currently in the way of our two new medium gates. So we're going to go ahead and also bulldoze all of that. And also, of course, like I said, the shelves themselves. And we can also bulldoze all of that as well to just completely clear that space. Now, I'm not certain if we actually have any builders deployed at the moment, so we should probably have a look. I suppose we do. We absolutely do have builders deployed. So they're going to be heading over to start dismantling the shelves and dismantling the walls. And when that's done, we can go ahead and build a new section of wall, get some new shops in there, and also build the counters that we need, the check-in desks that we're going to need for uh, everything else. Now, I did forget to make these green. I realize. I, I totally forgot to change the color of the stands here to make the uh, the things themselves green. So let's go ahead and just do that the whole way down here to make sure that our uh, everything's, you know, matching the rest of the airports. There we go. All the medium stands, I believe, at this point are going to have the green uh, arm thing. I've completely forgot. I think it's like a, it's some kind of bridge. I can't, I think it's like a sky bridge or something like that. I, I've completely forgotten what you call the bridge thing that goes out to a plane. But we're not going to stress too much about it. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Let's just go ahead and get those shops done up like that. Let's go ahead and expand the secure zone to occupy where those walls used to be. And then we need to go ahead and change the floor as well. And then our work in terms of uh, fixing this area is pretty much done. We can go ahead and get the boarding desks in and hopefully... This is going to be enough space for the boarding desks to work efficiently. So let's have ourselves a little look. We want boarding desk number one there and number two there. And then down here we have boarding desk number one and number two. I think that'll work. We can also go ahead and get a couple of large seats into, uh, into this space, I think. I don't think that'll hurt. So right there. And also right there. With maybe some small seats down here. I don't think that would hurt either. So a couple of smaller gate seats just like that. There we go. So once those are built, we are good to go ahead and get these opened up. Not that they're going to have a lot of flights coming in anytime soon. Because the auto scheduler obviously isn't on. But again, not necessarily the worst thing in the world. This, I think, will work out. It gives us a nice uh, bit of, you know, it, it basically makes this part of the terminal so much more busy. Which I'm very much okay with, so. Definitely looking forward to getting all that built. Definitely looking forward to seeing these stands up and running. So there we go. That one's going to be commercial. It is going to need to be connected to that baggage bay. And we can say that the stand can be activated. There we go. This one as well, we can go ahead and say is commercial with the baggage bay being there. 
And again, we can go ahead and open that stand. So all of our stands at this point are technically open, which is fantastic news. But obviously the right side of the airport is pretty much going to be demolished. And I've seen a, a few people asking uh, why I keep talking about demolishing that side of the airport. In case you missed it, you might have missed an episode or skipped an episode or whatever. Um, we're basically going to be tearing apart the right-hand side of the airport, the original side of the airport, so that we can go ahead and build it again. We're going to clone what we've done on the left side here, on the west side of the airport, over to the right side, so that everything kind of matches, and so that all of our passengers are going to go in through here. We're going to have two different areas for baggage handling, left side, right side, and we're going to have two, uh, well, one big secure zone, but you have to go through this middle section to get to either of them. That's basically the idea. And we'll have separate baggage handling over here as well. So that's that's what's going on there. That's my plan. Also, it turns out that the food shops are really popular. I'm really happy to see that. Uh, let's see here. Can we sign a contract with anybody? Not you. We can get Flygo in here. So let's get Flygo into that store. And we have a couple of food shops there as well, so that's fantastic news. Uh, these places here aren't actually stores anymore, so let's go ahead and say that you are going to be a shop. And you know what? We'll say that this one up here is going to be completely demolished, and we're going to put a food store in there instead. So let's go to areas, let's go to food, and let's get that ready to go. So you guys obviously need to dismantle a lot of things there. So while you do that, I'm going to sign a new contract with Quick Stop. There we go. So Quick Stop can work in there. You guys are doing a fantastic job of dismantling all of that. So let's get ourselves a cafe counter just... Uh, I'm thinking just about... Maybe there could do the job. Or something like that. I think that'll work. We'll get a cafe counter there, and then we'll get ourselves a bunch of display fridges just uh, around the space. Now, what way do these go? I think it's that way. So, can I get a bunch along the wall there? Uh, not, not quite. Let's do that kind of thing instead. And then this sort of thing. So that people can basically walk around the entire space. And it's an airport shop, so it's going to be a little more cramped. And it's in a very, very busy terminal. So it's going to be even more cramped. So something like that should do a fantastic job for uh, getting people in here to buy things. And we'll go ahead and just bring them all the way. Ooh, not like that. Like that. So that should be perfect. I assume I can get a nice shop in here. They don't have the space. Uh, these guys will go in. So Swift Veg is the name of the uh, shop going there. In fact, can I maybe... Can I just cancel those? There we go. That's going to look a lot better. So Swift Veg are going to work in there. This store is already up and running, which is fantastic news. And I believe all the other ones... Oh, we don't actually have a contract here. Okay, let's get uh, the jewelers up there, since they seem to like that space. And let's see, are we missing any other stores? We are missing a contract here. So let's go ahead and sign Paper Plane. There we go. And I believe that's all of them. I believe that's all my stores, except for any on the right side of the airport. But there's not really much point signing a contract for that side, because, again, it's going to be torn apart at some point. So there's really, there's really not much point there. Also, I really like that library. That's a, that's a nice library on those zoom planes. The really, really nice library. Okay, air is all right. What is this? That is goose wings. Ah, I kind of like it. They all, to be fair, they all have really nice libraries. They really do. I still haven't bothered to look up and see if there's a way to, uh, what is this? Trinity Aviation. Okay. I still haven't looked up to see if there's a way to add in, like, custom libraries to the planes. That's something I'd really, I still really want to do that. I want to get Conflict Air. Con Air! I can get Con Air! That Nicolas Cage movie! Oh! 
Oh, the things you realize and yell out quite loud without realizing. Amazing. I can have con air and like the the logo can just be Nicolas Cage's face. That's oh my god. That's that's amazing. And our slogan is going to be putting the bunny back in the box. Oh, I'm thinking way too much about this. I'm thinking way too much about this. Let's get on with uh let's get on with some work over here. So the medium stands here are actually okay. I mean, they're going to need to be moved and the air traffic control tower is going to need to be moved as well. Uh, but the medium stands, like the distance between everything is fine here. So I think we can go ahead and just start putting in some foundation over here because this bit doesn't need to be demolished. It's most of the interior stuff needs to be demolished for, uh, for the plans that we have. So that's 9 by 12. This right here is 8. Ooh. Interesting. That's very interesting. That that's 8. And that side that side's thicker. Huh. Is there a reason that side's thicker? I imagine it has more of a bias, yeah, over here. That corridor is a lot thinner on that side, so maybe we don't do that bit. I guess. I'm not really sure why it isn't even. That's a, that's a little bit concerning, but we can we can make it work. Uh, let's go ahead and just get some doors onto here so that my builders can get through into the new area. We'll go ahead and put a door just there as well. So that'll let them get to work on constructing those parts of the terminal. Uh, we could probably go ahead and say that we want to start bulldozing the stores, assuming that store doesn't actually have a contract. No, it doesn't. That one doesn't have a contract either. So we're going to bulldoze the items in those stores. Along with, I think, that bit of wall. And we can also just delete those rooms because they're not going to be stores anymore anyway. So delete, delete the room for me. There we go. So that room is now gone. Do we have any stores down here? We absolutely do. Okay, so delete that store as well. Delete that store as well. And let's go ahead and just tear out all of the items from the store. So just like that. So that's all going to go. We have another store here. We have a giant store here. And I believe that's all of them. So we're fine at that point. All of the stores are gone. There we go. All the stores are gone. So now we just need to wait. Now it really is. It really is just a waiting game. Uh, let's see. So Monday is actually a much emptier day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is probably the day we're looking for. So we really have the entire week to wait, which is a little bit infuriating, but I mean, it's, it is what it is. Basically, there's not, there's not a lot else I can say to it. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, now what I do want to look for is a new area to put the large air traffic control tower because it does need to move. We do need to get a new one of those, which is frustrating because I just built it. But uh, whatever. Also, someone pointed out that I might not have been able to place the subway entrance inside because it was in a secure zone. Um, I don't think that's the case. Yeah, you just can't place it inside. It'd be a really cool thing to be able to put it inside, but unfortunately you can't. Uh, so let's see here, ATC tower, we'll go for the large one, and I'm thinking we just, like, put it out there. I think out there is a decent spot for it. Or, like, there. That's actually perfect. 250,000, we'll get one there, and you know what, we're gonna get another one. Not that we need two of them, or currently three of them, but we're gonna get two of them, just for the sake of symmetry. And because I think it'll look neat. 
We've got two new air traffic control towers. We have construction up here about to be finished. We could totally throw a door onto the top end of this, uh, this wall as a temporary thing, just to let the builders through. That's probably not a bad idea, otherwise these guys are all stuck in here and gonna have to go, you know, a ways, uh, down and then out, so... I think getting a door on there is gonna be for the best. Because once the parts arrive for the ATC towers... Those guys, well, actually, I guess they all have to go down that way anyway, to get the materials, so... Eh, whatever. They'll do their thing, it's just gonna take a little while, as it usually does. The builders like to sort of laze around a little bit before they do literally anything, so... Whatever. Uh, in the meantime, I have seen a couple of comments mentioning the fact that if I was to hire an HR director, we can research automatic repairs, which, I'm gonna be honest, sounds fantastic. So, HR director, view applicants, who's the most expensive? It's gonna be Lisa. So we'll hire her. We'll go to Economy Procurement, and let's see what we got here. There's a trail scanner, mind reader, conveyor belt, shop upgrades, night flights. Apparently it's not in here. Operations? Uh, dashboard? It's one of these, right? Construction? Nope. Uh, it's not there. It's not contracts. It's in one of these, and I don't remember which one. Aha. So, was I, am I, am I, oh, I can fast forward to the next day. That makes life so much easier. Is it possible to say that we automatically repair things? Because I, I don't know if that's a thing. Do I have to click on you and say automatically repair? Or do I have to like research it? So you, details. I have, what are we, so paying too much in staff salaries, an HR director can help you set custom salary modifiers to increase or decrease staff salaries. Okay, so this is my budget. Salaries. So I can change salaries. I think if they, if they perform well, we'll give them a bonus of like a hundred bucks. Or whatever this lands on, 113, and you guys can... The executives, you guys can have similar. Same with the general operations staff. Have a nice bonus if you do a good job. Okay, so... Am I wrong to assume that that's a thing? Because I saw... I did see a couple of people mentioning it. I might just be... I might just not be... I, I might not be seeing it. Also, we have a lot of... Uh, we still have different airlines here which want to give us flights so let's let's go through and sign all the contracts with all the different airlines since we really might as well and then we can start bringing those flights in when the new airport opens in like a week or like two weeks whenever it's whenever it's going to be that's a construction contract those are fuel contracts, and if I go to procurement again, I'm just, I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just blind, but I'm, I'm definitely not seeing anything that's like automatic thing, so, I don't know. I, 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 I really, I don't see anything here that would point towards that actually being a thing, so we're gonna operate under the assumption that I am just... I'm either dumb, or it's not a thing. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and closed a couple of the gates on the east side of the airport. Four of the smaller gates are closed over here. Unfortunately, I can't close the remaining gates until they have all been cleared of their scheduled flights. The good news, though, is they, they, they can't accept other flights. So, what I'm thinking is I can technically go in here and turn on auto scheduling again because we only have west gates listed here. So if I turn on the auto scheduler, things, oh, things are going to get crazy with the auto scheduler, aren't they? 
Are they? Maybe not? I was worried about some, some weird overlaps there, but it's not actually looking like there are any. That actually looks... That actually looks like a really good schedule. That right there is enough of a schedule to keep this airport going. Really, my want to, you know, renovate and reopen the right side of the airport is just greed at this point. We have $6.5 million. We're still making shed loads of cash. It's not like we need to do any of this. I just really want to. I just, I just want to make the money, you know? That's, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, now, let's see here. This place, contract not completed. Why is that flashing? I'm not sure what that's about. Not really sure what that's about at all. Uh, I'll tell you what I am curious about, though. I'm curious to see just how ridiculous things get around here with the amount of flights that we have scheduled. Because there are one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine flights that are booked in today to land at exactly the same time. So that's not going to happen, is, uh, is what I'm going to say to that. But I am curious to see, you know, how it goes. Because we have got seven, we've got seven medium stands working on the west side of the airport and six small stands so that entire side is it's gonna be working pretty hard because all of the passengers for all of those flights are pretty much going to show up at the same time and considering those flights are due to land very soon i imagine quite a few of them yeah quite a few of them are currently going through security and also checking in so uh i expect the airport to I expect it to be super, super busy. It's also going to be some of the new flights. Some of the new companies that we took contracts with will uh, hopefully be coming in to start using the airport here. That'll be nice, of course. Uh, but it's also going to be interesting to see, you know, how does the airport hold up with the, uh, the amount of people that are about to go through it? Because it's going to be a little ridiculous. It is absolutely going to be a little ridiculous. What's this? This is CLM, CL86. This is Stripe Air. And this right here is another Stripe Air flight. Okay. I guess we're going to see how things go. We have a lot of people moving through. My frame rate is actually back down to being pretty bad there when I speed the game up. So I think that's a telling sign that we are moving a lot of people right now and probably also a lot of baggage being moved at this point there's gonna be a lot of baggage heading through here and i'm not really sure how the airport's gonna handle it because all of these people need to get their bags from this one area and yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see just how that goes we also have every one of these medium stands currently occupied so everyone off those flights is gonna be heading down here and heading through here so that probably explains why the frame rate is pretty bad. That is, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it kind of makes sense when you look at it that way. It kind of definitely makes sense when you, uh, when you look at it that way. Can I close any of these yet? No. We still have flights assigned to, uh, pretty much everything around here. I am realizing, though, I don't think... Do the baggage handlers do anything if we have this set to not work with commercial? That's the question here, because if they don't, then we have a slight issue. So where you're going, yeah, I'm, I'm noticing that we might have some issues with uh, with baggage on some of these flights. Because planes, planes are still going to come in. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that. Where are you going? You're going to that stand. So this is going to be the test. Do you get refueled? And do you actually have your baggage dealt with? I hope so. I sincerely hope so. But it, it really doesn't look like it. Unless the hand... Oh, no. So it is getting refueled. Which is great news. 
Uh, but thus far, nothing from baggage handling. Oh, no, this one's getting its baggage. There we go. So they do... So basically, if the flight is scheduled when baggage handling is enabled, because right now with this being set to not take commercial, it isn't technically linked to a baggage bay. But I think we're fine. I think it's working fine, which is uh, excellent news. And there we go. We're starting to see some of our flights heading out here. We probably need a few more pushback trucks since we are going to be dealing with so many medium flights. But I suppose having fewer pushback trucks is is one method to uh, prevent, you know, too many planes trying to go anywhere at one time. It's not necessarily a good method, but it's 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 a method is uh, is what it is. So uh, I think we'll consider that a success. Now, let's have another look at our scheduler and see how we're looking. Yeah, another. I mean, it's going to be a super busy evening. Uh, it's actually I'm slightly. Yeah, there's there's going to be a lot going on here. There's going to be a serious amount of stuff going on there. Can we close this yet? Uh, yes, we can. We absolutely can start closing some of the medium stands. That is fantastic news. Uh, can we close this small stand? We absolutely can. Okay. This is big. This is big news. Because uh, what we can start doing is going around and dismantling all the different bits and pieces that we don't need anymore. So those small stands can be demolished. So anything that's not being used anything that's turned off currently can be demolished except for the medium stand at the top part of this side of the airport because obviously if we demolish it we lose that bit of uh, service road there which we don't really want to do so those stands are going to be demolished we're going to go ahead and just demolish all of the furniture in this lower part of the airport as well cannot remove a connected boarding desk disconnect it before removing okay well, that's fine. I'll take that alert again for all of these. So that's fine. The boarding desks will stay put until I actually go ahead and disconnect those. Wow, my frame rate. Oh, it hit, it hit very low there. In fact, it's going low again. It's when I when I speed up the game, the frame rate, it was hitting like three. So I don't think the game's having a good time right now. I really don't think the game's having a good time. And uh, looking right there, that's probably the reason. Just all of those people going through. I would love to know how many people we're actually handling per day. That would be really cool to find out. Just exactly how many people are going through this airport every day. That'd be really neat. Unfortunately, we can't close that. And we can't close that either. We are so close, though. We are so close to being able to uh, go ahead and start properly renovating this side of the airport. And I'm so excited to get started. I really am. Because once, you know, once those two remaining medium stands go, you know, baggage handling goes, refueling goes, I believe that's a small air traffic control tower. That goes, the shops go, the staff rooms, everything. Everything goes and we rebuild that side of the airport to look like this side of the airport. And that is kind of a big deal. Oh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Are we are we able to process them successfully? Because that's so many passengers trying to go through there. And it sort of looks like we're doing okay. Security is... I mean, that, that's basically Heathrow is what you're looking at there. That's London Heathrow Airport right there. That's that's what it's like. It's a free-for-all. It's literally a free-for-all. You guys are wearing exactly the same shirt. You guys, you guys are wearing exactly the same shirt. Also, you've turned up to the airport super hungry. I'm not sure why you would do that. I always make a point of getting food before I go, you know, to the airport. Because you never know, you might get delayed going through security. And then you don't have time to get food in the departure lounge. And then if you do have time to get food in the departure lounge, you are extra uh, not hungry. Which is great. Also, there's like a few people just stood around here, sort of like queuing up to leave that area. 
which is a little bit weird. Not really sure what's going on with that. But uh, that might... Yeah, they're sort of queuing up in a weird way. That... That could very well cause some delays. Like, people are being weirdly super polite. Also, look at this. Four of the same airline. Apparently, Crown Airlines has uh, a good stake in uh, Emerald City Airport. Which is fair enough. I mean, I do like the idea of just having the one airline using the airport for the most part. It's like, again, you know, uh, Heathrow with British Airways or... Belfast International Airport with, uh, EasyJet. Actually, no, EasyJet, what, what airport is EasyJet based out of in the UK, now that I think about it? Well, they're not, they're not really based anywhere. British Airways is, uh, is London Heathrow. But, I mean, a lot of the other airports, you see a lot of EasyJet, so, eh, whatever. Oh my god, the frame rate, man. Ridiculous. Okay, well, it took a very long time, and my game is frequently telling me that it's not responding due to the number of people moving around the airport, but we are finally ready to demolish the three medium stands on this side of the airport. And once those are gone, we can go ahead and remove everything on the interior of the, this side of the airport. I don't know why I repaired that one. It needs to go away. Uh, we also need to demolish all of the buildings over here. And then we need to demolish pretty much everything, because I don't believe these are even connected to anything anymore, no. So pretty much everything on this side of the airport needs to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the secure zones from this side of the airport, which is also giving me some issues because... The game's just having a really bad time, to be honest. That's that's kind of what's going on. So that entire space is no longer going to be secure. Please don't crash the game. 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 Respond. Respond. Thank you. Okay. That wasn't terrifying. So that's all going to go. Uh, and we're basically gonna set all of this to just have no purpose anymore, because it, well, it doesn't. Uh, what we need to do is bulldoze everything inside of these spaces. Now, apparently one of our check-in desks, and why is that doing that? That's a bit weird. Oh, please don't crash the game. Thank you. Um, well, that's weird. That is a very strange bug there uh, that's not actually letting me click on anything else. Okay, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pause the game and reload. Okay, so aside from these three check-in desks, everything in this side of the airport has been bulldozed, which is excellent news as far as I'm concerned because it means that we're almost in a position where we can start constructing the new version of, well, this side of the airport. The thing that's stopping me is that these check-in desks all have flights on them, which is really weird. Because they shouldn't. And I can't bulldoze them if they have flights on them. I have to cancel the flight. So I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. Obviously, the flight on this check-in desk actually, I mean, it goes away. It leaves at 4.05, so maybe after that time, I can get rid of that check-in desk. But this, this desk down here has other flights. Actually, no, I think that's the check-in time for all of those. It's well past check-in time in all of them. I don't know. Uh, oh, my game stopped responding again. Oh, no, it's working. Never mind. I'm, I'm really not sure what's going on with these. But I really would like to start working on getting the, the new and improved airport up and running. Not really sure what you're complaining about currently. Not really sure what the issue is there at all. Um, deactivate, activate. So you are connected to there. Airport baggage handling service is disabled. 
Why is airport-wide baggage handling currently disabled? You need a filled up fuel depot. Hold on. So turn that back on. I'm not really sure what was going on with that. And we should see... Yeah, baggage is going to get moving again. Now that's obviously going to hurt my frame rate even more. Uh, because of course it is. But let's... I, I'm curious to see if I can delete this after 4.05. Because if I can't, then I can't do what I need to do with my airport here, and that's kind of infuriating. So, 405 has come and gone. There are no flights technically scheduled, and I can delete it. Fantastic. I cannot delete those ones, though, because 425 has not yet come and gone. So, let's wait for 425. 425 is, has come and gone. Can we bulldoze you? No. Well, why not? 550. Seriously? Seriously? Just get rid of them, man. Come on. I just want these things out of here. So 505 on that one. And it's not gone. So I believe that can go. And then, yeah, 555 on this one. And then it can go. And then we can actually start constructing the this final bit of terminal, which is actually hugely exciting. This episode's also super long, you might have noticed. Uh, so that can be demolished as well. And if we go up here, these guys are currently working on... Oh. Yeah, so they've got themselves stuck because I told them to bulldoze some foundation, but they didn't get rid of that bit of wall. So let's just get rid of that bit of wall so they can actually get out. And that's hopefully going to make things... relatively even, I suppose. I, I mean, I guess. Uh, now, let's see what we're going to do here, because this is going to be interesting, is what it's going to be. Now, we technically need to go to infrastructure here, and we need to go... So, that's, that's our line. Hold on. Service road? This right here is the top line for where that road needs to be. So, like that. That needs to be a thing, meaning we need to bulldoze all of that. Which is fair enough. So that all needs to go away. We can also go in and say that that's going to be completely... Well, does that need to be completely bulldozed? That's the question, because that's where the... That's where the, the baggage handling goes, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that bit in the middle needs to go there. Then baggage handling goes in there. And I guess while we're at it, we should start mapping everything out, shouldn't we? So, let's pause while we do this, so the game doesn't get weird. And let's go to doors, medium door. And we want a medium door there. So that's... Fine, I, I guess. Um, This really isn't spaced out the same way, is it? Because you come out there, and you need to go... So the door is... Fine. How many tiles up are we going here? Let's let's have a little look. So, sixty dollars worth. So we want to go sixty dollars to there, and then the wall goes that way, which is a bit weird. But the wall itself is—it's not going to tell me. Two hundred and seventy out from there. The two hundred and seventy brings me up to that point. Which is apparently where we need to go. But that's that's not right either. I'm really not sure what I've done here. I think we've done we've done something wrong is is what we've done. It's it's definitely not entirely central is what I'm coming to realize here. Yeah. I can I can sort of see what's going on. So this is there's supposed to be a cutaway there. Okay. Right. I I can sort of I can see what's going on. So this is that needs to that's a room that can be deleted. So that needs to come down is what I'm I'm looking at here. So if we were to measure this bit it's 60. So we want to go from here over 60 
And then that's where the wall goes. So that needs to go. And that basically goes right down to the main entrance. So right down to there is what we're looking at there. So that... The, does, does that do good stuff for us? I'm not sure yet. So that's supposed to run the whole way up there. So I think our terminal goes too far to the right. I think that's what's going on. So technically speaking, we need to go and bulldoze all of this. I think. I think I'm right on this. And then we need to put foundation back in there. Position not valid. Why is the position not valid? Oh, it's because there's a bit already there. I mean, that's fair enough. If we can get that all demolished, I, I think I'm right in saying that our terminal goes too far to the right. I think the entire building goes too far to the right. I'm not certain, but we're going to find out. Let's get rid of all of that wall. Actually, that would make that would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? Because this corridor is three wide. So if we go here, one, two, three would be a wall there. How long is that wall? Hold on. What what wall are we building here? Uh, the outside one. So the inside one off the end of the, the 270 is 170. So 170 brings us to there. So that's our wall. That's our corridor. Which is fair enough. I believe we have a little gap of four there. Before we have another section of, uh, of wall. And I believe that goes right up to the edge of the terminal. So I think I'm right in saying that this uh, all needs to go. I think that was our problem. The terminal is too far to the right. Uh, which is going to make things a little tricky. Definitely going to make things a little tricky. Uh, but let's see what we can do here. I mean, that is supposed to stick out there. So maybe... Maybe we don't bulldoze that bit. We don't bulldoze that bit. Yeah, because they line up fine. Okay. All we, need to all, blah, all we need to do is bulldoze this entire strip. And then we need to put the walls back in. So the wall goes there. You know what? Let's, let's get the tedious bits of this done. And then do the fun bits. You know, uh, where in, in a commentary where I'm not just sitting there going, And we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. This is actually a really, really long process to build all of this, it turns out. It's a lot of detail, it's a lot of measuring, and it's a lot of making sure everything is exactly where it needs to be. There's a lot of things I've built and then had to demolish and rebuild because they've been in the wrong place. And I'm actually realizing that not everything is going to be 100% perfect here. Because if we were to measure from, say here to the taxiway that is seven sort of full tiles if we measure from here it's eight so the airport itself is going to be symmetrical more or less it can't be perfectly symmetrical but as close to symmetrical as we can get it uh but the distance to the taxiways on each side is going to be a little bit different which isn't the worst thing in the world we're sort of going for symmetry in the uh, the terminal building itself rather than symmetry, you know, all over the place. So we'll sort of just have to live with that, I guess. The good news is we're almost at a point where we can start putting the small stands into the place. And I'm also thinking it might be an idea to get rid of the doors down here just to uh, clear that space up a little bit. Uh, now, it looks to me like we can actually go ahead and get those small stands in. And while we're at it, we could also go ahead and look towards bulldozing all of that as well. So let's go to infrastructure. Let's go to small stand and let's get the asphalt small stands just along there. Now there's six of them on the west side. So one, two, 
Uh, let's just pause the game. Three, uh, four, five, and six just there. So six small stands. Then it's a vehicle bay. Then a... Is there a gap there? I'm not really sure. I think there's a gap and then we refuel. I believe there's a gap and then we refuel. We'll have a look anyway. So vehicle depot is going to go right there. Uh, actually, not right there. It needs to go... Or does it go there? It does go there. So vehicle depot goes there and then the refueling depot for Jet A1 uh, goes right there. Which I believe is absolutely perfect. Then we start doing our medium stands. Okay, so that means we actually need to go in and bulldoze all of this as well. Which is fine by me because it's gonna... You know, it's gonna get us closer to being able to uh, open up this side of the airport. There's a lot of work to do. Obviously, a lot of work to do. But that's alright. We're getting there. We're absolutely getting there. Uh, now let's go ahead to structures again. Let's go to walls and just board up the little open sections that we have done here. Just like that. And let's see if we can get that medium aircraft stand just down here. So it's going to go in that spot, which is going to make things very, very interesting very, very shortly. Now let's go ahead and get the service roads back in that corner. Let's just double check that it is the service road that I have selected. There we go. So that's going to be connected, no problem. Uh, this is almost all gone already, which is fantastic news. Although the game is still... It's still having trouble. The game is still really, really struggling with uh, everything I'm trying to do here. But let's go ahead and get all of those out of there. Let's get those medium aircraft stands ready. And then we can go... Now, what are we looking at here? That aircraft stand is right at the top there. So we want to rotate. We want to go one. And two. And if it works, it does three. Just like that. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. I am a little disappointed that the taxiways are different. But I suppose we could demolish and rework the taxiways, technically. Uh, I don't think there's any harm in doing that. Just to move them a little bit closer to everything. So I think we might do that. I think we'll go to Bulldozer. And the taxiways... It's going to be a pretty major operation to do it. But we're going to do it nonetheless, I think. So the taxiways from that entire space need to be demolished. And those are going to be rebuilt. That's some pretty major work to do right there. But hopefully it doesn't take too long because I really want to get those... Uh, I want to get everything open, basically. I really want to get everything open. You know, I've realized that the thing I'm enjoying most about all of this is that we have an entirely functional airport. Like, we're, we're building all this. You know, we've got these four new medium stands, six new small stands, ten stands total... None of them are working at all. Uh, we have all of this being bulldozed. We need to get rid of the air traffic control tower. But yet we still have planes coming and going on this side of the airport. I love that. I love that fact. We're still making shed loads of cash because, you know, we built the initial side of the airport, which we're now remodeling. We then built the ideal airport. And then we close the initial side of the airport so we can kind of clone the ideal layout. I like that. I really, I really enjoy that as a, as a little fact there. I think that's really cool. I am realizing, though, that this is going to need to be changed. It's not going to be identical, and that ever so slightly annoys me. Um... But we do have an option, I suppose. What we could do is go like this. And then I believe we're going to want to say... What what distance are we looking at there? That is 90. So 90 would bring us up to there. So if we just bulldoze all of that and do 
that sort of thing, perhaps? It does give us a bit... Like, we don't need this corridor anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But it does give us at least... Uh, let's cancel that as well. It gives us that area for uh, that particular gate. So it's going to be a bit of a different layout, obviously, but it's still going to function in a relatively similar way. Which I think is pretty cool. So that'll be good when it's done. Let's see here. How are the taxiways going? Taxiways are almost done. Which is excellent news. Let's go ahead to infrastructure and remove the remainder of the concrete tiles that we have up here. We also have this medium stand still needing built, but it's getting there. It's absolutely getting there. And uh, what we can do is just look at this side again. So I think what we want to do is go to Taxiway Foundation, go to Asphalt, and we want to go five by whatever this costs. Because it will line up perfectly. So like that. That's going to be a big old chunk of taxiway. And then we want to leave a gap of two and do another five by whatever. Done to there. And then I believe what we do is we have this come all the way down to the bottom. It meets on that side. And then this one... I think comes out a little bit, so we want to go five by six and then across like that. And I think, yeah, that's absolutely perfect. So that's going to be uh, pretty much a clone of what we have on the left side of the airport in terms of taxiways. I know it's not super efficient. Uh, I know there are some flaws in, uh, in my layout here, but I like it. I do. I do really like it. So uh, I think we're going to keep it as is. Now let's go ahead and just see if we can bring some extra little bits of taxiway through here. So we'll do a little 2x5 there. We want another little 2x5 just down here. And then I believe they continue straight across. Now I am seeing some issues. I'm seeing some pathfinding issues to all of these planes. But they do have their baggage on board, so I'm not really sure what's up with the pathfinding issues. I assume the vehicles are just stuck because I've been messing with them a little bit, so that's that's nothing that a, a reload won't fix. So let's go ahead and get the asphalt foundations all the way through there. And we're going to do the same here as well. And basically, like I said, I mean, it's I, I think you get the idea. We're cloning everything we did on the other side of the airport, because it actually just seemed to really work, which I really like. I like that it just seemed to uh, to work without all that much trouble. So let's not do that bit, and let's instead just do that. And once that's all built, we put the nodes in, and we are sorted. In fact, we can do the nodes while it's being built. We don't even have to wait. So that comes along to there, goes the whole way up to there. This one comes the whole way down. To the bottom. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm really excited to see what it looks like if we get, you know, both sides of the airport up and running at the same time. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit ridiculous. In a good way, but also in a my frame rate is never going to recover after I open this side of the airport kind of way. So, yeah, I, I mean, that's that's technically a good way as well, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of not, but I think you get what I'm going on about. Uh, there we go. So that's all connected up. That's all going to be built. We want to go to structures and we'll just put another large ATC tower in that corner. Um... Because I like having two of them. I like the symmetry. So we'll get that done. Uh, we can go ahead back to infrastructure and put down some more concrete tiles. I know I lifted a few here, but we want to just make sure, again, everything is as symmetrical as can be. So those all go in there. We want to fill up these gaps, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to fill up these gaps with um, some concrete as well. We have some weird gaps over here, too, that can totally be filled up, and in here as well. Probably don't want grass right in the uh, center part of the airport. So all of that can be concrete. 
all of this is going to be concrete as well. And then all the way down here, of course, is also going to be concrete. That's that's a lot of construction work. That is that is a lot of construction work. Kind of ridiculous amounts, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there is supposed to be a road coming down to the bottom here. I'm not really sure why I've bothered to bring a road down here, but we're going to do that as well. Again, going for that symmetry. Gotta go for that symmetry as best we can, at least. And let's see here. I think I might actually bring some concrete right up to the edge of the building there. Actually, let's not, because we can't clone that on the other side. So there we go. That is ridiculous. That's a, that's a lot of construction. That's a lot of money that we're spending there, but it's all for good stuff. Uh, now, let's see. What way have we laid things out here? So, if we go to boarding desks, our boarding desks face upwards and are positioned just like that. Okay. So, we want to put our boarding desks there, basically. This all needs to be a secure zone as well, doesn't it? I mean, technically, it is all secure, so that's fine. We can go ahead and set this entire space to be a new secure zone. We're so close. We are so close to being able to uh, to open all of this, and that makes me so excited. Uh, but that is all secure. That lag, though. <laughs> My god. Uh, this video is getting ridiculous. I mean, it's already kind of ridiculously long. Uh, but it's, it's getting even more ridiculously long at this point. I'm kind of okay with it, though. I mean, again, bro most likely based on the title of uh, the episode at this point, you can tell that this is sort of going to be the finale. So uh, I don't think there's any surprise there at this point. But just in case you weren't aware, this is the finale. Just just so you know. Uh, now, let's see here. We have more rooms to build. So walls go across like that, 110. So we want to go 110 from there. And then I guess we do the same up here as well. So something like that. That area is not going to be secure. Because that's our exit area, which has a corridor that's three wide that runs the whole way up to here. I believe that's where it goes, right? Yeah. And then we have a toilet as well. Okay. So the toilet starts there. It goes two in, then it has a door. And then it goes two across, and then a wall down. So that's going to be another toilet. That's our exit chute, I suppose. Meaning we can go ahead and remove the secure zone from areas where it isn't needed. Which is, again, getting really exciting here. Let's see. So it goes right up to about there. And it goes and tucks right into there. All right. Let's get those boarding desks in. Let's let's get those boarding desks cuz we're getting so close. I can smell it. I can I can smell it. I can smell the airport. Which interestingly, if you're going through Copenhagen Airport, occasionally smells like Turkey. Just as an FYI. Just in case you were ever wondering what Copenhagen Airport smelled like turkey apparently not really sure uh why or how but I w i've gone through copenhagen airport several times at this point and it absolutely smells like turkey quite frequently not all the time not all the time don't be going through copenhagen airport like tomorrow and being like yo it doesn't smell like turkey because it doesn't always smell like turkey but Frequently. And I, again, I don't know why, but frequently. Anyway, let's get the large seats in here for everybody on these uh, small flights. We don't actually need the large seats. We don't need this many seats at all for these flights. But they're nice to have, so we'll get them in. That gives us plenty of room for shops in there as well. And then I guess over here, we're going to do... A similar layout so we're gonna go two from the top actually does that does that line up I think that does line up doesn't it yeah so two from the top like that with a gap of one and then we do that just a couple of times is, is the gap of one the whole way through uh 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, we have a lot more room on this side. We have a lot more room on this side. So bathrooms or something can go down there. Or like a shop or some kind of seating area. I don't really know, but it's going to be... It's going to be something down there at least. Let's see, how goes the... Oh, wow, the construction is... Well, it's taking its time, but it's also kind of getting there. It's difficult to complain with the, the amount of construction that I'm giving these guys. Now, let's see here. What way are we going to set all of this up? Uh, we are going to need more boarding desks, obviously. And let's see if they fit. They actually don't. Oh, is that corridor too thick? It is. It absolutely is. My bad. Let's remove all of that. Let's go to structures. Let's go to wall. And do that and remove you. That corridor was far too thick. And by far too thick, I mean literally one too thick. Now let's go ahead and get the boarding desks in for all of these stands. Because if we get the boarding desks in, we can get a bunch of seats in and then we can actually just open this. Even though it's not finished, we can totally just open it. Which I'm so excited about. Let's see here. Doors. Remove that one. Walls. can go there when that door goes. Oh, I'm so excited. There's so much to be done, but I'm so excited. Well, this is exciting. We are very close to being done with the construction of the taxiways. There's obviously still a lot of concrete to be done. But you might happen to notice that not all of the stands on this side of the airport are closed anymore. That's because, as I'm sure I don't need to really explain, but I'm going to for dramatic effect, they're all open. We have flights that are scheduled, not very many of them, but we have flights that are scheduled to come into the east side of the airport. Again, not very many of them, but flights nonetheless, and that's kind of a big deal. Let's see if we go for a 50-50 split on the aircraft there and see what happens with the uh, with all of this. My worry is that, honestly, we've gone through, like, every flight available. Oh, no, we haven't. We've got more being scheduled. Interesting. I guess we'll keep our eye on that and uh, see what ends up happening. Uh, but in the meantime, we can go ahead and just continue work on the airport. Uh, just as a frame of reference, by the way, I mentioned that uh, this episode is going to be super long uh, because I've been recording it for a while. Uh, thus far, I have recorded two and a half hours for this one episode. Uh, usually with episodes of this, the length is kind of just what you get, you know? Usually it's like, hey, I recorded 40 minutes. That'll be like, uh, I don't know, a 35 minute episode. This one, not th this one, I don't know. Because there's a lot of stuff being cut out of this one because there's a lot of downtime. It's, it's a little bit nuts is what it is. It's a little bit nuts. I'm completely okay with it. Don't get me wrong because I'm really, really pleased that, you know, we're finally getting this stuff done. And it kind of feels like an appropriate ending as well to have like a super long episode where we are finally doing, you know, the thing we've been planning for such a long time. Since, you know, almost, I think the beginning, right? One of the first ideas that I threw out was that we'd build an airport that works to make us money. And then we would go ahead and build, you know, the whole thing. We'd build, like, the main thing on this side and then another one on the, the other side. Something like that. Pretty sure that's what we were going to do. Anyway, I'm noticing that we seem to be out of contracts for these rooms over here. So this is going to be the Hilltop Cafe. Which seems like a decent idea. So we're going to get a little cafe in there. And then this is going to be whatever that place is, I suppose. So we'll go ahead and get a nice fancy place there. Uh, this is going to be... Fly go. This right here is going to be, can it be paper plane? It can be paper plane, so it's going to be paper plane. This is going to be, I don't know what, it's going to be power, I suppose. So we'll get power in there. Uh, these shops up here are still functioning. This one, not so much. Can this one be, nope, 
it's going to be, let's see, Turner. I guess they can have a shop in here. Uh, this one, can we get any of these guys? We can. We can get AS to go. This is another little food place. We're going to go for a burger joint up here. And then this is another shop, which is going to be, let's see, paper news. Let's go with paper news. So there we go. Whole bunch of new shops coming into the airport on that side. Uh, obviously, we haven't got them built on this side yet, but it will happen. Don't you worry. It'll happen. Uh, let's see here. We probably want more ramp agents on either side of this thing. We'll go for six per side. And uh, I think we'll also go to the board, go to staff. And I think we'll hire a few more ramp agents because I think we're going to need them. So let's just hire you guys. And let's get a few more to come through and apply. So that we can maybe do some good stuff here. No. Oh, there we go. There's two more and one more. There we go. All right. So we have people coming through here for flights. Meaning that this side of the airport is not working. Which is kind of ridiculously exciting. That's that's big news is what that is. That is huge, huge news. Uh, we should see, if I'm not mistaken, the tilt trays working. Hopefully. I'm going to... Oh, yeah. So that luggage goes off to the right. And then other luggage goes... Perfect. We've got working tilt trays. Absolutely perfect. So we should see some of these guys... We should see some of these guys eventually come in to pick up the luggage there. Uh, there's going to be a lot of small flights coming in. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We've got it up and running. We've actually got it up and running. Uh, let's go ahead and just see if we can finish this off a little bit with uh, some miscellaneous seats over there. Let's get that to be secure because it currently isn't. And let's go ahead and say that you are, of course, going to have the green sky bridge thing. And so is this one down here. That's not the color I wanted. We want the green one. Okay. So you need to take commercial passengers and go to that baggage bay. And you're going to be opened. And then you need to take commercial passengers and go to uh, that baggage bay. And then you are also going to be opened. And then you can take commercial passengers, go to that baggage bay, and be opened. And there we go. The airport, while not 100% complete, is 100% open. And I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of that airport. It looks ridiculous. In the best way. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I love it. I really, really do. I'm so pleased with that. I'm so pleased with that. Uh, let's see here. So we don't actually have that many flights coming in. I don't know if the auto scheduler is having trouble or if it's just like, hey, I, you know, you've, you've, you've got every flight there is. But this is really, really cool to see. I'm so happy with it. Obviously, we need to change some of the styles of the floors. Obviously, not everything's in yet. But I'm so, so happy with it. Uh, let's get some sidewalk just there. And let's start doing bits of floor. While we wait for my game to inevitably just die, uh, let's just get some bits of floor in here. And let's make it look nice. So we can't really do the same corridor style thing over here, unfortunately. I mean, well, I guess technically we can. There is, there is a room missing here. So we'll do that sort of thing. And I guess we... I mean, what is what is this room? I don't know what this was going to be. I mean, what, what distance are we looking at here? A hundred. So let's, let's do the, the hundred wall. Which is there. And then I guess we have a little corridor going to... Uh, going to the baggage area. I guess that works. Yeah, that sort of gives us a similar look. It's not identical, but it's it's close enough. And then whatever that room was going to be, I mean, I really have no idea. But we'll get it there anyway. 
We'll go to floors. We'll get our fancy wood for all of this space just here. And everything there as well. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased with this. I really, really am. It's, uh... It's really cool, because, I mean, we've been, we've been talking about this idea for so long. We've been going back and forth on the uh, the idea of building, like, the, the one giant terminal thing, and... Oh, it's... I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. Uh, let's see, what is the... This area in here is... A little different. So we have some fancy mats that go here. Then we get the nice wood across there. We do have some offices at the front here we're going to need to do at some point. But for the time being, we'll go ahead and just do fancy wood in all of that space. And down here as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So good. So good. What floor have we got in here? It's the nice one, isn't it? So we want to go for the nice floor there and right up to the door. Which actually goes under the door as well. And then the nice wood under that door. There we go. So baggage claim is still being worked on down here, which is a little unfortunate. But uh, I believe it will be done shortly. Let's have a little look at the conveyor belts and see what's up. I don't think any of them are going in the wrong direction. It is a distinct possibility that some of them might not be... Oh. Is it not connected? Oh, no. There's baggage being put on the thing now. So does that mean that we... We should see it come down, right? It shouldn't really be an issue. I mean, obviously it's going to get stuck there, but... I guess we'll keep an eye and see what happens. It is probably just going to take a moment for baggage to get here because... Well, maybe not. Is it stuck underground somewhere? Oh, they are still... They're still building the belts. Well, that'll be why it's taking its time. That'll definitely be why the baggage is taking its time getting down there. But, you know, it'll get there eventually, so I'm not going to stress too much. There it is. Perfect. We have another baggage claim area. We have all these flights coming in. We've got a large flight down here. We've got a maple flight. We've got no large flights up here at the moment. And we don't have any scheduled. I have a funny feeling that the, it, it can't schedule them. Unless I need, like, a bigger ratio for the medium flights. But it, do it doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems to me like I might just have every medium flight done. Actually, no, there are, there are still plenty available. I think the scheduler might just be having trouble. Uh, let's maybe drop the time between flights to 20 minutes. And let's uh, turn the scheduler off. And back on. And hope it doesn't mess with everything. Oh, you know what it could be? Half of these flights? Ooh, that stopped my game responding. No, please. Please don't crash. After all of that, please don't crash. Please don't crash. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's working. Oh! Oh, well, would you look at that? Oh, no, it's not responding again. <laughs> please. Please. Oh. Oh, look at that. So we don't have that many... We don't have that many medium flights coming into the east side of the airport this time around, but... We do have... Or, sorry, small flights, but we do have a lot of medium. Which is ridiculous, because a lot of those are landing very close to each other, but... I mean, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? We didn't... 100% finish this side of the airport, but it's not like we can put shops in there anyway, because they don't really exist. Uh, we've signed almost every contract that there is to sign. So, I don't know where, like, we, we don't really go anywhere, anywhere from here. I was going to say, you know, where do we go from here? But we, we kind of don't. I don't think we do go anywhere from here. 
because other than this staff room, there's not a lot else to do. And I'm kind of okay with that. I am, I am kind of okay with that. I think we've built an airport here that is really friggin' good. I really like it. So I'm really pleased with it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a couple of sofas in here for uh, a nice cozy staff room. So that everybody can stop complaining about not having anywhere to sit. We'll go ahead and do this sort of thing. And... Oh, that worked perfectly. Look at that. Worked absolutely perfectly. Not bad. Uh, so that's going to be staff room number one. And then staff room number two is going to be over here. And whilst we lay out staff room number two, I just want to say a big old thank you kindly for watching, everybody. It's The series lasted uh, a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. It was probably going to end a few episodes ago because of the frame rate issues, but we managed to fix those at least slightly. And now we have probably the longest video I've done in a while. Probably the longest video I've done in, in quite a while, so there you go. I, I like to think this has been a success. We're sitting on $8 million. We have flights coming in left and right. We have loads of them coming in. You know, Tuesday and beyond. The west side of the airport is packed with small flights. The east side of the airport, unfortunately, isn't because we've got too many small flights on the other side of the airport. It's nuts. It's it's absolutely nuts, and I love it. I'm so pleased that this has wound up uh, working out. And that we've got the airport to look the way it looks. Because I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks really good. So with that, I'm thinking we're going to leave it there. Ladies and gents, thank you, Kyle, for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.